Now, uh, a business in Cumbria is facing a loss of half a billion, half a million pounds, this is half a billion, half a million pounds, after storm damage brought down hundreds of trees. It's been a big challenge for the owners of the 340-acre site at Skelethfold Caravan Park to make the area safe so it's in time to reopen, as our environment correspondent Judy Hobson's been finding out today. <laughs> Everywhere you look in Skelleth Fold, evidence of storm damage. These trees, some more than a century old, no match for gales of up to 70 miles per hour. The site owner says since Storm Arwen in November, they've lost hundreds of trees. I don't know how many we've lost. We'll, we'll know when we've finished, but certainly, you know, somewhere between 500 and 1,000. He thinks clearing this number of trees will cost half a million pounds because this type of damage can't be insured. Some of the trees will be used for building materials or for creating paths and some will be left. We have eco piles and in fact I think we've got one, one behind us here which that will probably end up staying um, and they are, they are wonderful for the environment. So one of the challenges is particularly with windblown timber is you end up with this with this shake in it where when the, when the wind has either twisted or, or blown the tree over or when the trees come down, that it cracks and it, it makes it fundamentally useless. You know, this, this ordinarily would be a nice piece of wood that we'd be able to do something with, but with the shake, it sort of make, means that really it's probably going to biomass. Certainly in this area, everybody's busy. Every tree surgeon, every forester is busy and getting the, the equipment and the skill set and uh, and everything else to deal with that is, has, has and is a real challenge. The woods surround a caravan park and the priority has been clearing areas that people use. What are the sorts of dangers with trying to, to sort out uh, trees that have fallen like this? It's a real challenge because you've got, there you've got four trees all one on top of another. And um, the challenge is, is getting the top tree off so it doesn't get tangled up with the others and also make sure that the, the chainsaw operator and anybody working on it is safe. If we were here this time last year, it would be a lot more enclosed. Um, it wouldn't be as breezy. Um, we certainly won't be getting as wet. Um, yes, yeah, a, a very, very different feel and, and, and obviously the look that we've got now. The fallen trees allow more sunlight to hit the ground, which will attract different plants and insects. But undoubtedly, the landscape here has changed. Judy Hobson, BBC Northwest Tonight, Ambleside.